Hello guys, Game Boy Hub here. This right over here is Windows XP Tablet Edition. It was made for the Fujitsu Siemens stylistic line of Windows XP tablets. And this version of Windows basically adds touchscreen support to Windows XP, as well as a bunch of tools and applications that actually utilize it. So today we're gonna be checking out this special edition of Windows XP, but I do not have the Fujitsu Siemens tablet or any of the HP Windows XP tablets that were released. But what I do have is a modern Lenovo Ryzen 3 laptop with a touchscreen. This is my IdeaPad Flex 5. It was used by my dad for a while, but then the hinge on it broke. I tried gluing it back together and it kind of worked. I mean, it is usable now, but it still doesn't close or open very nicely. So it is pretty much just a matter of time when this machine will die. So why not install Windows XP on it? Today we're basically gonna see if this old tablet PC edition could work on a modern machine with a touchscreen, and if it can, how does it even work? So yeah, let's get started with the video. This video has been sponsored by Tenorshare, therefore DDIG data recovery software is the best data recovery software that you can find on the market today. They offer a wide range of options for data recovery, including recovering files from your hard drive, SD card, or even a camera. They also have all of the common locations that you can scan for deleted files like the recycling bin or a specific folder. You can also scan your cloud drives as well as crashed PC Sees. And they also offer some utility tools in the app, such as File Repair, which has a bunch of different file formats that it can repair if they're broken after deleting them, as well as the Toolbox, which offers a bunch of other apps for recovering partitions, and they even have a Mac version of the app. If you guys are looking for a software to recover any deleted or broken files from your system, check out Tenorshare for the dig in the description below. And they also have a Black Friday sale right now, so now is the time to check them out. And let's get started with this video. The Tablet PC Edition has a very cool internet archive page. This is the actual picture of the software, which looks really cool. And this is one of the HP tablets that used it. And it also came packaged like this, apparently. So I'm just gonna download this copy and use Rufus to make a bootable USB because of course this new laptop that we're gonna be using doesn't have a CD drive or a DVD drive of any kind. So I'm just downloading the ISO image. The only other thing we'll need is Rufus. So let's go ahead and get that real quick. And I'm just going to use a regular SanDisk 64-bit USB. So I'll just wait 50 seconds for this to download and then we'll make it. There we go. Rufus has been installed. So let's select the Tablet Edition ISO that I just downloaded right over here. So I'll just click open and the volume label can stay the same. And our USB drive is already selected. So we can pretty much just click start and make the bootable USB. All right, that was fast enough and the USB has been created. So let's move on to our laptop. And here we are in front of our Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5. So yeah, this is gonna be very cool if we can get this working with Windows XP. Also, I'm filming at this angle because the screen is really reflective. So this is the only way that I can film this. And yeah, we have the Windows XP Tablet Edition USB inserted. I also made a 17 gigabyte partition for the software. So we're gonna be installing this alongside of Windows 11 and we'll see if it works. So let's reboot the machine and the BIOS key was just F2 but it took me a few attempts to get into them. So let's go over to boot right here and we're gonna go boot priority order. We're going to move the USB um, up the list. We're gonna put that in the first spot and the second spot we're gonna save for the SSD like so. And yeah, we'll click F10 and it didn't boot from the USB for some reason. So let's try that again. Okay, and I've managed to access the boot menu of the laptop using the F12 key. So uh, let's select our USB and see if it will boot from that. Nope. 
So we likely have a problem with our USB, so I'll try to solve that right now. So I tried booting from the USB for about two to three hours. I tried making it with different software, it didn't help. I also tried using the different USB ports that the laptop has, but that also didn't help. I also tried booting into an MS-DOS USB, I don't unfortunately have footage of that, but that didn't help either. So then I just decided that I just wanted to test out the Windows XP Tablet Edition features, so what I did was installed VirtualBox on the laptop and I just installed it in a virtual machine. And yeah, let's continue with this video like this, I guess. And would you look at that, inside of the VM, the touch screen works absolutely fine. So I'm just gonna continue with this. Uh, I have no idea why I can't boot from the USB. It should be bootable. I'm pretty sure I did everything correctly. Maybe a lot of adjustments need to be made to even boot into the XP setup on your machine which is absolutely fine. So I'll just do this video like this because I just want to show off all of the touchscreen features which we can do just fine with a virtual machine. So yeah, I'll be back when everything is installed and set up. Also, if you guys want to try this yourself, uh, when you are at the product key, you need to input in the Windows XP Tablet Edition product key. If you input in any other product key, it will just give you the normal Windows version without any of the uh, tablet accessories. So yeah, just make sure that you input in a valid Tablet Edition product key and you should be good to go. And here we are in the welcome screen and you can see that we do have a a touch screen keyboard on hand which is pretty cool so it does provide us with that if we want to use it strictly in tablet mode however I am gonna use my mouse just to complete this and then later we're gonna see what all of the features are the installation was absolutely the same as any Windows XP installation that is why I skipped it because you guys have seen this a bunch of times on the channel so yeah I just finished setting this up and and we'll see how it all works. I'll also install VirtualBox Guest Edition so we have all the drivers and I'll put it in full screen and then we'll try using it. And there you go, it says welcome to tablet PC. I'll leave this window opened and I'll try full screening this. And now I'm just going to insert the uh, Guest Editions CD. So here we have VirtualBox Guest Editions. So let's install all of that so we can put the machine into full screen. And there we go. Now we have full screen resolution and we can move the mouse with the touch screen, as you can see. <laughs> And we can start this. Welcome to tablet computing thing. Okay, uh, the older tablets did of course have a pen, but we do not have that, so I'm not gonna be doing this. Okay, I am right-handed. So this is just explaining us how to use the pen instead of the mouse, which is really interesting that they needed to explain that. Best way to use your tablet screen is like a piece of paper. Okay, tap next. Double tap inside of the image. Nice. <laughs> So this is just a really cool little tutorial. It looks like the Windows XP welcome screen, which is pretty cool. Press and hold your pen down, turn on. There we go. And the touch screen is actually really responsive, even on this new hardware. I'm not sure if that is just because uh, I'm running this in a virtual machine. So we have all of the uh, default drivers for Windows 11 still running in the background. I don't know, I should probably just install a regular version of Windows XP and see if any of these features work. But yeah, we're just gonna be checking out this version because I've never checked out Tablet Edition and I've never had a touchscreen computer available before. Okay, so to just explain us a bunch of things which is really cool what you've learned where to learn more and I'll just click exit on this right here and click finish nice and now we can use this computer pretty much regularly and you can see that we did get all of the tablet edition apps which is really cool so let's check out what this version offers so the first app that we're going to check out is called windows journal and this is definitely not available in the normal version of xp and this is basically just a notepad that you can use with your pen which is really cool so let's see if it works with our finger Yeah, that actually is really responsive and it works really well. Let's try out the eraser. Okay, that is way too tiny. Let's give it large. Yeah, that also works pretty, pretty well, which is actually quite surprising. I didn't uh, think this would work so well, but it works 
extremely well for now. Yeah, we have a bunch of other uh, tools, of course, in this Windows journal thing, but it is a really cool app if you wanted to take notes on your tablet. We also have a little marker. We're gonna try thick right here. And let's see how this runs. Let's try to draw a little smiley face. And yeah, that actually runs really good. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that is pretty much it for this uh, Windows Journal app. So let's see what else this version of Windows offers. And I'm not going to save this masterpiece. <laughs> Let's check out the get along with tablet PC. I'm pretty sure this is just the um, tour that we've just done. Yes, it's just the same thing. So we can exit out of that. So we have all programs right here. So let's see if we have anything new. That would probably be under accessories right here, I'm guessing. Oh no, we do have a tablet PC category right here. So we have sticky notes, tablet PC tutorials and Windows journals. So we already checked out Windows Journal. Let's see sticky notes. So this is the same thing as Windows Journal. We can draw inside of it and we can also record our voice as it seems, which is pretty cool. Maybe this is used for like when you're in a lecture, so you can actually record the sound and take notes at the same time, which is actually quite useful. Yeah, we have import, export and options. So this is just a really simple little program. That is a pretty cool feature to use on a tablet. Let's see what else we have available. And tablet PC tutorials, let's see what that is. That brings us to the Internet Explorer. And yeah, we can download some tutorials from the Microsoft website apparently but of course that is no longer available. Another thing that is also available in tablet edition that is different from the normal Windows XP release is this little button right here and what this basically does is it converts whatever you write right over here into digital text. So I believe we can open up notepad right over here. Yeah you can see we also have a bunch of other options to open uh, right here because of all of the tablet applications. I'll just open up a text document and open this up. And now if I go right here and write Okay, I wrote hello, it just wasn't very good, but it registered hells. And if I click right here and click OK, there you go. It writes into the document. It also gives you a bunch of other options down here that are similar to what it thinks you wrote. I'm trying really hard to write world right here. <laughs> there we go. Now it recognized it. So we're gonna select world and click here. And there we go. Now we have hell world. <laughs> we're missing an O. So yeah, this is probably much easier with the stylus. It is probably much more accurate if you are writing with the stylus and not your finger. The second option down here is individual letters. So if I was to write... Okay, I was trying to write love, but it read LDVN. So we're gonna click the insert button and there you go, that pastes that right into the document. It seems to really struggle with the O's. It sometimes registers a C, sometimes registers a zero, sometimes registers a nine. So the O's seem to be very hard to get. And the last option that we have right here is this, which is just a virtual keyboard that you can write with by clicking on it. If you prefer writing on the actual screen, screen and you do get a full sized keyboard even with the Windows key and all the other stuff and I believe you can resize this. So yeah, this is just a really cool option for tablet users. And also there does exist a exclusive tablet edition game which is called Inkball right here. And this is what the game looks like. And I believe you are supposed to just get the ball inside of their um, designated colors right here. So it is pretty tricky to do so. I believe I got it. Yes, nice. So let's try the blue one. And is that it? Nope. Oh no, oh no, I'm missing. <laughs> 
And yeah, when you draw something, uh, it goes away after the ball hits it. And there we go. We completed the level. So yeah, this is a pretty cool concept that shows you all of the tablet features. <laughs> Why is this one going so slow? Let's try to get the other one inside of there. We have 96 more seconds. Okay, there we go. We got it. And now I'm just going to hope that it goes in. Oh no. Okay, let's try again. Nice. So yeah, it is a pretty cool game that just shows off the tablet concept. And of course, you can play any other game as well as use all of the other Windows features with the touch screen, which is very cool. It does take a bit of getting used to and on original hardware, it was probably much more responsive when using the pen. And also those uh, tablets did have multi-touch disabled. So it's pretty cool because you could rest your hand on the screen while writing something with a pen. So that was very useful. It wouldn't mess up the thing you are writing. And yeah, that is pretty much it for the standalone tablet edition features. That is what Microsoft has managed to pack inside of this special edition of Windows XP. There is also a tablet edition of Windows XP Power Toys, which are some other apps that they have compiled, which are easy to use with the touchscreen feature. So Michael MJD did create a really interesting video about that. So I definitely recommend watching it if you're interested in the tablet edition features. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this little review style of video. And I do also want to make more videos on these special Windows editions because I think they are really cool. So if you guys like this one, definitely leave a like. Please check out my Twitter and Instagram. And also we do have a join button now. So for as low as a dollar a month, you can become a member and get some really cool perks with it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.